Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you you know we have successfully completed reading for comprehension till seven chapters from book one that is Punjab textbook today we are to start the grammar part in the topic for today's discussion is sentence and its types dear students have a look on these sentences car I my love green color their book went gone stay do you wait was done a loss I have two questions to ask you do these groups of words make sense do they suggest something about a person place or thing what I want you to get understood about Sentences are not merely a group of words. There is not at all ample to be a sentence. Is in this these two sentences, though you can see group of words, but the arrangement is not proper. So these sentences are okay neither syntactically nor semantically true syntactically means according to structure and semantically means according to meaning okay syntax is uh, a branch of linguistics that deals structure the arrangement of words order of words in a sentence right and semantics deals with meaning so uh, if we look these sentences keeping okay those parameters into wave we can come to conclude our conclusion sorry that these two sentences are not actually sentences right they are just group of words having no arrangement no proper agreement having no sense at all right so okay look at these sentences now Rainy is a nice girl Miraj likes writing poems right do these groups of words make sense if they then you should know the answers to these question what kind of a girl is rainy okay she is a nice girl what does niraj like doing he likes writing poems dear students this means the sentence three and four okay since they give complete thought a complete sense so they are sentences right now look at its definition a group of words that makes complete sense is called a sentence right what should be in a sentence okay to be a sentence there should be a group of words okay with such an arrangement that gives complete sense that's it a sentence expresses a complete thought it carries a complete okay meaning sense a sentence must contain a subject and a verb 
okay uh, look at this example if we parse if we divide this sentence into okay a broader category it will have two parts that is okay rainy and is a nice girl rainy is the subject why because it is the naming part about which the rest of the sentence stands that is why okay you would have able to answer this question what kind of a girl is rainy she is a nice girl so the, is a nice girl is about this rainy okay it drives the verb is is in the rest right so this is the driver of okay this verb in this sentence so this is the subject and this part okay putting aside or keeping aside the subject the rest is the predicate predicate means that predicts okay that tells that shows something about the subject okay it may be the verb it may be the auxiliary it may be right an adjective it may be an adverbial okay it may be preposition so right the part other than the subject in a sentence is what we call the predicate right so this is subject and predi uh, predicate verb well, that is predicate uh, it means predicate okay are the basic elements of a sentence right we can categorize sentences based on their purpose and their meaning okay to discuss with its types we have to categorize we have to see we have to look at sentences into two broader categories to discuss about its types its kinds okay first we have to see the kinds of sentences according to meaning according to purpose right and we have to see exclusively the types of sentences or the types of a sentence according to its structure right so according to purpose or according to structure sorry meaning we have five types of sentences like affirmative or assertive sentences interrogative sentences imperative sentences okay exclamatory sentences optative sentences right so these are the types according to purpose right so first we will discuss this types of sentences according to purpose according to meaning dear students listen to these sentences look at this read the following sentences they are having fun they are these children are having fun they are enjoying right all the children are in school uniform as you see okay they are in school uniform so basically these two sentences these two sentences are giving some information about those children right okay these are statements these are assertions right about some subject right so what kind of okay uh, a sentence are they they are declarative okay declarative sentence sorry a declarative sentence states a fact and ends with a full stop with a period american says or names it as period okay i mean full stop so a declarative sentence okay 
shows or expresses a fact okay and it always ends with a period or full stop it is so called because it states or declare declare something okay why are they called declarative because they declare or they state something it is also known as statement okay you have three names okay you have three ways to name this declarative sentence declarative affirmative and assertive right so they express statements facts okay or affirmation or assertion right any statement that is positive and not negative is known as affirmative or assertive sentence okay but keep it mind okay to be po okay uh, affirmative or assertive the statement must be positive not negative right for example ricky has completed his work this is an example of declarative or you can say affirmative or assertive sentence right okay it ends with a full stop okay it doesn't inquire about something okay it doesn't give any command order etc and etc it is just a statement or fact about okay as far as this example is concerned okay has completed his work is about this ricky okay ricky has completed his work okay are you getting my points good now look at these sentences read the following sentence okay where are they going what is the color of the girl's bag and is the boy smiling or crying okay these are some uh, inquiries or questions regarding about okay these two uh, children these children okay where are they going we do not know what is the color of the girl's bag okay it is red is the boy smiling or crying the boy seems smiling right these are the possible answers okay but you have been asked okay with the help of wh questions and polar okay so these are examples of an interrogative sentence okay in interrogative sentence asks a question and ends with a question mark okay the second type according to purpose okay is interrogative interrogative sentences are those sentences okay having questions and ends okay having questions and end with a question mark like this this question mark all kind of uh, interrogative sentences end with this question mark right but I'm, i would like to say you about two the two different kinds of interrogatives okay interrogative sentences are of two types one is polar interrogative and the other is wh interrogative okay just go and see these sentences where are they going what is the color of the girl's bag Okay, since these two sentences begin with wh, where and what, they are called wh interrogatives. Where is this sentence? Okay, since it begins with an auxiliary verb or helpy verb. Okay, is the boy smiling or crying? Right. So this kind of sentence, okay, are this kind of sentences are called polar interrogative sentence. Right. So these types of sentences have a helping verb before the subject. It is very important to keep it mind, dear students, that whenever you go for, okay, 
WH interrogatives, WH words always followed by auxiliary verbs. That is mandatory. Okay, you cannot go like this where they are going. No, it may sound good. Okay, as far as speaking is concerned or listening to it is concerned. Okay, but it is not correct. Okay, you can uh, manage it in your speaking if you are informally talking to your peers or your colleagues, your friends. Okay, doesn't matter. But as far as formality is concerned, that is not uh, okay. Uh, that is not to do. Okay, rather you should always put auxiliary verbs after W H. Right. Dear students, now read the following sentences. Wow, what a sunny day. Oh, the flowers are so beautiful. Look at these sentences. Okay. Do they show some sudden feelings? Yes, they, sh they are. Okay. They, they do. Sorry, they do. They do show some sudden feeling or emotion, whatever is. Okay? Like, wow, what a sunny day. If you, okay, look at this sentence. This sentence ends with this mark, this sign that is sign of exclamation or exclamation mark. Plus, this has this word wow that is interjection okay interjection is one of the parts of speech that uh, shows sudden feeling or emotion okay when someone verbalizes or utters in surprise in wonder okay in sorrow right in uh, joy whatsoever the situation is okay exclamatory sentences depict someone's emotion it, it tells you whether the person is happy whether the person is okay surprised or when the, whether the person is okay sad Oh, the flowers are so beautiful. Okay, this is again. Oh is interjection, and this sign of exclamation shows that the sentence is exclamatory. But it is not always mandatory or essential to have okay words like wow or oh. You have or you can go for sentences that are exclamatory but they do not carry but they do not take interjections like what a beautiful car it is how beautifully sang okay how beautifully she sang in the last concert etc and etc these are the sentences without interjection but they are exclamatory right so how to recognize those sentences with this exclamation tree mark or sign of exclamation but you have to be really very careful okay why because optative sentences may also take may also carry the same mark but I will tell you while when we will be when we'll be discussing okay about optative how to uh, recognize or how to differentiate okay uh, exclamatory sentences from optative right an exclamatory sentence expresses excitement strong feelings or emotions it ends with an exclamation mark or a sign of exclamation you can also 
okay say so exclamatory words are words that generate a strong emotional response for example wow these are exclamatory words okay that is uh, interjection they are interjections wow awesome a lot oh hooray okay these are interjections but they are not mandated to have okay to be an exclamatory sentence it is not necessary to have exclamatory words at all are you getting my points dear students okay so far okay now look at these examples please keep quiet please listen to me be quiet okay these are some typical sentences they are imperatives what are the imperatives okay an imperative sentence is a command a polite request or an entreaty okay it ends with an exclamation mark or a full stop okay depending on the way the sentence is spoken usually the subject is hidden in an imperative sentence right <coughs> okay i will define i'd like to define this as uh, an imperative sentence is a sentence having command request order okay prohibition proposal suggestion okay, entreaty entreaty is a request right and it usually ends with a full stop but some ta times okay occasionally it may end with an exclamation mark okay usually the subject is hidden in an imperative sentence imperative sentences usually begin with first form of verb that is the present form okay like this keep quiet listen to me be quiet okay <coughs> okay 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 i think i should uh, make you clear about this imperative sentence dear students if you look at these examples okay though this sentence begins with please okay but it is optional okay you can skip you can omit this please and okay keep written this keep quiet please uh, shows that this, uh, the sentence is uh, okay a request it contains a request right please listen to me you can also say listen to me that will be order okay are an advice but if you go for words like please would you like would you mind okay the sentences would be okay a request imperative having a request right be quiet be quiet okay be form of for be quiet so okay this may be an advice or an order depending upon the situation depending upon the context where the sentence has been uh, spoken or uttered okay for example uh, sometimes you ask for a pen from your friend okay and say would you please give me your pen your teacher you uh, would have listen to your teacher saying so okay sit down stand up open the door close the door okay sentences like that 
these are imperative sentences you are basically habitual to this knowingly or unknowingly okay so dear students uh, i think it's enough for today i am going to stop over here and this topic will be carried on in the upcoming lectures thank you for being patient and passionate